Good morning, students. This is your mathematics teacher Asif sir for class five. Boys, this is my second video on lesson number eleven, money. In the previous video, we have already discussed the concept of money and the unitary method. In this video, we will discuss the concept of profit and loss. Boys, there are some terms and formulas which are very important to learn. Then you will be able to solve problems on the concept of profit and loss. Now we will see. Now we will see the terms. Terms. and the definitions boys uh, now we will see some terms and the formulas which we which we will use to solve the problems of profit and loss cost price what is cost price the price at which an item is bought is called the cost price in short it is denoted as cp selling price what is selling price the price at which an item is sold is called the selling price the students when you know the cost price and the selling price two things will happen either the profit or the loss we will discuss both the cases one by one case one when sp is greater than cp there is a profit of course when selling price is greater than the cost price there is a profit to calculate profit we will use the formula profit is equal to sp minus cp now come to case number 2 when cp is greater than sp there is a loss of course when cost price is greater than selling price there is a loss to calculate loss we will use the formula loss is equal to cp minus sp boys now we will see how to calculate cost price and selling price in case profit is given in the problem and when loss is given in the problem okay in case of profit when selling price and profit is given we will calculate the cost price as cp is equal to sp minus p now when cost price and profit is given we will find the selling price by the formula sp is equal to cp plus p now move on to the next how you will calculate cost price and selling price in case loss is given when selling price and loss is given we will calculate the cost price by the formula cp is equal to sp plus l when in a problem cp and loss is given so we will calculate the selling price or sp by the formula sp is equal to cp minus l where cp stands for cost price sp stands for selling price l stands for loss and p stands for profit boys uh, now we will go through examples of the lessons to understand the concept thoroughly here on page number 161 we will read example number 1 a shopkeeper bought a dictionary for rupees 162 and passive 50 and sold it for rupees 195 what is his profit or loss c boys cost price is given as 162.5 and selling price is given as 195 here selling price is greater than the cost price so there is a profit to calculate profit we will use the formula profit is equal to sp minus cp put the value of sp as 195 and the value of cp as 162.5 and subtract you will get the value 
it means the shopkeeper made a profit of rupees 32 and paise 50 now we will study the example number 2 on page number 62 mr sharma bought a box of pencils for rupees 60 and sold it for rupees 48 did he make a profit or loss and how much now see here cost price is given as 60 selling price is given as 48 here you can see cost price is greater than the selling price so there is a loss to calculate loss we will use the formula loss is equal to cp minus sp put the value of cp as 60 value of sp as 48 and subtract you will get rupees 12 so mr sharma suffered a loss of rupees 12 next example Example number three: Sohail made a profit of rupees fifty-seven and paise fifty on selling a pair of gloves for rupees two hundred and twenty-five. What was the cost price of the pair of gloves? Boys, the best way to solve the problems on profit and loss is whatever is given in the problem, just write in the paper. Then you can easily understand what is given and what you have to find. See here. selling price is given as rupees 225 profit is given as 57 and paise 50 to calculate the cost price we will use the formula cost price is equal to selling price minus profit put the value of selling price as 225 profit is given as 57 rupees and 50 paisa and subtract you will get rupees 167 and paise 50 it means the cost price of the pair of gloves was rupees 167 and paise 50 boys now we will study example number 4 srijan sold a pair of shoes for rupees 540 he suffered a loss of rupees 41 and paise 50 in the deal what was the cost price of the shoes so what is given here selling price 540 loss is given as 41 rupees and 50 paise to calculate the cost price we will use the formula cost price is equal to selling price plus loss put the value of selling price as 540 plus loss which is given as 41 rupees and paise 50 and add you will get rupees 581 and paise 50 so the cost price of the pair of shoe was rupees 581 and paise 50 here next example an electrician bought some bulbs worth rupees 2500 and sold them at a profit of rupees 150 what was the selling price of the bulb cost price is given as 2500 profit is given as 150 in case of profit selling the formula to find the selling price is selling price is equal to cost price plus profit cost price is 2500 put the value 2500 profit is given as 150 put 150 and add you will get rupees 2650 so the selling price of the bulb was 2650 and the last example six tejas bought a bag of sugar for rupees 1120 and sold it for 28 less it means the loss is for 28 rupees what was the selling price of the bag of sugar so cp is given here cost price is given which is 1120 rupees loss is 28 rupees we need to find the selling price to calculate the selling price in case of loss we will use the formula selling price is equal to cost price minus loss put the value, put the cost price as 1120 and loss as 28 and subtract you will get rupees 1092 so it means they just sold the bag of sugar for rupees 1092 uh, students uh, apart from this video I will share the solutions of the exercise 11.2 along with the audio clip where I have explained every problem thoroughly boys 
my time slot is from 8 to 8:30 in the morning and i will be available online on tuesday and thursday only if you have any doubts you can ask questions and i will answer your queries then online thanks